Feast to Feast. Today we commemorate the great martyr Paraskevi, who is an intercessor. If you didn't know, she's a good person to ask to pray for you if you have trouble with your eyes. So, so that's something to remember, St. Paraskevi. And I believe that's because in the course of her martyrdom, they tried to the, the account of her martyrdom goes that they, they tried to burn her and the local ruler who was subjecting her to these tortures came over close by and she threw some of the, the it was oil or something splashed out and, and hit him in the eyes and blinded him and um, because she was unharmed while they were trying to martyr her and and the emperor was blinded, and he cried, you know, he said, I'm blind. And then she prayed for him and healed him. And, and I think she was, let, she was let go. And then later on, there was another ruler that came after her and, and had her martyred. And, um, but so I think that's, that's one of the reasons she's associated with, with healing, healing the eyes. So um, uh, this week... The schedule is still pretty minimal. Um, we, we should have scheduled Divine Liturgy on Saturday morning and Sunday morning, and then Great Vespers on Saturday night. And next week, I believe Saturday is August 1st. Is that correct? Does anybody know? And so that's um, the beginning of the Dormition Fast. And and so we'll want to be attentive to that, to keeping that fast, especially in this time. I mentioned the other week that that fast actually came about um, due to illness and pestilence in, in, I believe, in the region of Constantinople. And so it became accustomed to celebrate this fast, asking for God's help and for the mother of God's intercession in a difficult time. And so I encourage you, as you are always encouraged, but specifically now, to take the fast very seriously and to really offer, you know, in the, the groanings of your stomach and of your body, offer prayers to God for our deliverance, for our salvation, and that he would um, turn and have mercy on us. We want to be like, like the psalm says, where just as the eyes of a slave are on the hand of his master, are the eyes of a handmaid on the hand of her mistress, so our eyes look to the Lord our God until he have mercy on us. And so during this time, let this fast truly really be that for us when we look to the Lord. And we'll have a lot of um, services um, during that period, during the two weeks of offering the Paracasi service, which is a, a supplicatory service to the Mother of God asking for her intercessions in times of illness or distress. And um, as we offer those prayers, we'll do our, I think we'll, I have to talk with the parish council, but we'll do our best to make sure that the people are able to attend. Um, and so we'll, that's, that's a logistical thing we'll have to figure out. And then of course, early on in, in um, August, we also celebrate the feast of the transfiguration of our Lord. Um, and within the, the, sort of at the end of the first week of August, um, so, may the Lord, I wonder where that falls this year, Transfiguration. Do you know what day of the week it is, Ann? I'm not sure. I feel like if the first is Saturday, won't the, the sixth would be, what day? Friday. Friday. <laughs> so, so that'll be, so, so at any rate, so there's, and we'll, yeah, so we'll have divine liturgy for the Feast of Transfiguration. And um, I think those are the main announcements. Um, okay, so if you would, God bless you. I hope you have a blessed week. And you can come forward to receive a